How to create dependent tubes in FreeCAD with the Shape Binder tool. First start a new sketch on the XY plane. Then draw two circles starting at the origin. You can switch to construction mode by clicking this button. The buttons will turn blue. Now select the line tool. Draw a vertical construction line between the circles. Now exit construction mode by clicking this button. Make sure the construction line is vertically aligned. Select these two vertices and add a vertical constraint to align them. Now add a diameter to the outer circle. Also add a vertical distance to the construction line. This will be the thickness of the tube. Exit the sketch. Now select the pad tool. This tool will be used to extrude shapes. Extrude it in two directions symmetrically. Select the body and press F2 to rename it. Call it Tube 1. Click this button to create a second body. Call it Tube 2. Create a new sketch in this second body. Now select the YZ plane. Did you know you can cut the view with this button? Draw two circles starting at the origin. Then draw a construction line as the thickness. Now add a diameter to the outer circle. Then add a vertical distance to the construction line. Toggle construction mode and exit the sketch. Extrude the sketch to one side with the pad feature. Now activate the first body by double-clicking it. Then select this face of the smaller tube. And create a normal shape binder with this button. The next step is to create a sketch on the YZ plane. Hide the second body by pressing spacebar. Now project the outer diameter of the shape binder. Hide the bigger tube by selecting it and pressing spacebar. Then draw a circle on the projected line. Show the tube and the second body again. Now select the Pocket tool. This tool will be used to cut out shapes. Reverse it when needed and click OK. The hole has been cut in the bigger tube. Hide the shape binder. Now select the second body. Select this face and create a subshape binder. Hide the bigger tube and create a sketch on the XY plane. Now project the inner diameter of the shape binder surface and draw a circle on the projected line. Now close this sketch. Create a symmetrical pocket through all. Make the bigger tube visible again. Press spacebar to toggle visibility. Hide the subshape binder. Now change the diameter of the bigger tube. Normally shape binders make everything dependent. Somehow this results in an error. Let's edit the sketch with the error. Delete this constraint and make it equal again. Exit the sketch. Somehow it works now. The error does not appear again. The cut depends on the diameter. Even after changing it. Now change the diameter of the smaller tube.
This worked at once. The cut is always as big as the tube is. The shape binders make it all dependent. Important, tube 1 has a normal shape binder. While tube 2, the smaller tube, has a sub-shape binder. Also the order of shape binder creation was important to avoid bugs. I started with the normal shape binder in the first body. Then I placed the sub-shape binder in the second body to avoid line projection errors in the sketch. Also check out my 3D printing channel for all my 3D printing projects and tutorials. And have a look at my website where everything comes together. Thanks for watching. Also check out my other videos and channels.